So let's take a walk through the garden and check out the bare root roses that I just planted about 12 days ago. And barely any of them had any leaves on them. And now they are actually growing. So this is a really welcome thing to see in my garden. Um, here's my more established rose bushes. As you can see, they're really tall. And they all line the fence and the sides of my yard. Is another really, really large rose bush growing all the way up into the sky. Unfortunately, we have these yucky power lines over here. Here's another bare root rose that I planted last week. He's starting to grow now. That's pretty cool. If you see these old bed posts, it's actually things I repurpose that I find in the garbage. I take old bed posts to give it an English cottage look and I use them for trellises. That one's a actually really pretty ornate one. And don't laugh, I have one back here too. It's actually a bed box spring that I found in the garbage and I use that for um, a trellis. So there's a lot of things you can get in the garbage that you can repurpose for your garden. And if you want that English old cottagey look, you can get that by finding these things. Yeah, here's another old bed post and it's made out of some kind of wrought iron. And again, I use it to tie up a lot of my roses and have them climb up the old bed post. So let's go along the side of my yard and check out some of the other bare root roses that I planted last week. And if you see a little cocky, it's because I let my dogs out like 10 minutes ago. I have three dogs. One of them weighs almost 200 pounds. He's a big mastiff. So yeah, this one's starting to grow. We have all new red basil shoots coming out. I believe they call it basil shoots. I'm not an expert gardener. And let me back up and show you my one of my largest rose bushes. And this is called Poseidon, and it grows beautiful lavender purple roses. And I just planted this like two summers ago, and already look at the size of it. Here's my crepe myrtle tree. Look at the beautiful blossoms. So let's check out this. I just planted this again like probably 10 or 12 days ago. And already we have a lot of leaves shooting up on it and some basil shoots. That's looking good. I'm happy about that. Here's another one. And we have some new growth here. And those are healthy looking canes. That's another good sign. Here's some more established roses I have. And this one's like climbing already. I think this was a climbing rose. Here's another bare root rose that's growing nicely. It has some new leaves shooting up, which is great. And I like to plant them close. Actually, you're supposed to leave a lot of space when you plant your roses, but I like to plant them close together because I have multiple colored rose bushes and then they intertwine with each other and you see like an explosion of colors. And we have three more bare root roses that we just planted about 10, 12 days ago. And already they are looking great. We have all new growth here. Here's another. And if you hear a bell, it's the ice cream man. And after I film this, I think I'm gonna go run and get an ice cream cone. He drives one of those old fashioned ice cream trucks, like those good humor trucks. And he's been a fixture of the neighborhood for many, many years. Yeah, so this one's growing really well too. So all in all, I'm very happy. The roses are starting to grow and the yard is starting to look alive. The spring is definitely here and I'm really pleased. Thanks so much for watching and have a great, great day.